body bags were whore lies. What's up, everybody? Welcome to week 128 here on Body Bags. I am your host, Mood616, and thank you once again for dropping in, guys. Yeah, week 128 is here, and of course, I've got another film from the year 2002, so I'll keep this, uh, you know, this third week of uh, 2002 streak going, whatever you want to call it. It's just, it's not even by design, it just keeps working out that way, I don't know why. But um, <laughs> this one right here is coming from a director that I really do like. I like his films, I like what he does with his films. Um, and yeah, that's what I'll say. Brett Piper is the director of the film, of course in 2002, and it is Cyclops. Now if you're not familiar with Brett Piper's work, he is basically, he's like an effects artist, um, of course directs and writes films also, uh, but he likes to use stop motion animation in his films and things like that, and he's done effects for like trauma films and among his own films, of course, Draniac and uh, um, most recently Queen Crab, of course, um, among tons of films, I've got pretty much all of his body at work, but this is one that I still have never checked out before, um, kind of forgot I had in the collection, so my bad, but um, Anyways, getting to the plot of Cyclops, uh, basically follows your main character, Shep Franco. Now, I, I don't know if this was intended to use the last name Franco, just given this guy's occupation in life, uh, but Shep Franco basically is a videographer, and he set a goal that he wants to document everything in his life on videotape, and kind of, you know, and by the time a year is done, just kind of create some very, very unique type video or film or whatever from the footage that he's gathered over the year. Uh, the thing is, he likes to buy his videotapes down at this um, this local pawn shop because this guy down there, he, he gets these tapes really cheap and sells them to him for super cheap. So, of course, one day he's kind of going through the videotapes and, you know, he's like porno, porno, horror film and stuff. And he comes across this videotape that says experimental video. So he pops it and he actually starts watching it. And what it is, it's this old scientist. And apparently this guy's recorded this footage and it, it's taken place like 1883 or something like that, um, which, uh, which is you know, by what we know is kind of completely ridiculous, but um, but apparently this mad scientist actually created this new, he's he created video like 30 or 40 years before, or 30 years before, you know, uh, you know, Hollywood did, or whoever invented it, but, but anyways, he's on this videotape, and he's describing this machine that he's invented, he's saying that, you know, he's a mad, or he's a scientist, and he's invented this machine that allows uh, dimensions to kind of evolve together, it's like dimension travel in a sense. And so he's kind of watching this video, and he gets very intrigued by it, and he's like, well, shit, man, that's really damn cool. So he starts doing some investigating. He comes across his um, great-great-grandniece, uh, I guess, or whatever, uh, granddaughter, and she tells him to basically stay away from finding this machine because it'll do him no good. Her great-grandfather was crazy and stuff like that. One thing leads to another. He finds this uh, dimension machine. He opens it up, and he starts fucking around with it, and of course he unleashes this dimension and somehow it fuses his camera to his head which kind of makes him look like a cyclops which you can see in the picture there and and oddly enough he unleashes like all these weird bugs into this new into the world and stuff and you got zombies and you got a whole pile of other crazy things that have come through these dimensions and now he's kind of like changed personalities he's almost like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type character and he's trying to like take over the world and now his friends have got to stop him from you know becoming this crazy scientist trying to take over the world. So that is your plot of the film. <laughs> now my uh, synopsis took just as long as this film took to get going. Um, now my thoughts on this one. Uh, this movie runs about 94 minutes. I have to say my thoughts on the running time, a little bit too long. It's too long. That is one of the biggest gripes I have with this movie. It takes so long to get going. There's about an hour of plot development and stuff with this chef character and his friends and going to find out where this uh, this dimension machine is and stuff like that. And it takes about an hour to get going. Really, the goodness and the, the fun of this film doesn't get going until about the last half an hour. So, you know, the final act is basically where the goodness starts going. But I did really like what... Brett Piper did with it. It's pretty cool. I like the whole idea of fusing his camera to his head and being able to see through that and stuff and having, you know, of course, the bugs and zombies and, uh, you know, the mad scientist's um, 
great granddaughter in this film. She's actually like a witch and stuff. So you got like all these kind of weird elements kind of mixing together in this film. It's kind of kind of unique in itself. Of course, this movie has pretty cool effects. It's got you know his very low budget standard uh, stop motion animation with the bugs and stuff, which is very cool to see. But you know, the first hour of the film is very slow paced. It's very almost boring and stuff, and there's not really a lot going on. So the second, you know, the, the final act of this film is kind of worth the watch though and did make it a little bit better overall. But still, this one right here just suffers from running way too long. I think Brad Piper just really could have cut out a lot of things in the first hour of this film, shortened up this, and uh, had a lot better product. But there is some pretty cool scenes at the end of this film with zombies like in this graveyard and pretty well shot atmospheric scenes. I, I was very surprised at how cool the scenes were actually a lot of like fog and smoke and stuff like that but just really dark and and kind of cool um but you know you just don't get a whole lot of it and that's one of the biggest problems with this film it's got a really interesting idea it's just not it's not really developed you know i mean there's almost too much development in the beginning half and then just not enough payoff in the end uh for its own good but you know it is what it is. Low budget filmmaking, you know the acting is going to be a little shady at times. Uh, I think that there is a couple of characters in this film that are decent at acting, but the acting is pretty much below, you know, below par in this one, which is kind of a shame because it almost seems comical at times, just the way they're delivering their lines and things. are just like, you know, you spend the first hour of the film kind of bored, but almost laughing at the way it's, you know, it's kind of developing and the way the acting is and stuff. It's pretty funny. Um, music isn't badness. It's not too bad. It's kind of almost generic sounding, but it's it's kind of fun at times. Um, I just wish more, there was more of that. You know, the last half an hour of this film would have been fantastic to see. You know, at least forty five minutes of that type of action, but. Uh, yeah, definitely not my favorite Brett Piper film. I can't really recommend this one to a lot of people. If you're a hardcore Brett Piper fan, definitely give it a shot. You might dig it. Um, if I had to rate this one, I'm going to give it about a 4.5 out of 10. It's definitely below average for a Brett Piper film. Um, so, not really a whole lot more to say about it, but I really do like this whole idea of this his camera being fused to his head, though. I think that's a really cool idea, but uh, just kind of a shame. There's just It's too long and just kind of just too drawn out in the developing parts of it man it's just kind of a shame but not enough stop motion i like the bugs and stuff and you know the end of the film was kind of cool too but it is what it is so anyways guys that is going to do it for week 128 here on body bags i'll see you guys next week week 29 peace out homies